Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Given below from 1 to 4 are some food items. 1 boiled and mashed potato. 2 glucose solution. 3 a slice of bread. 4 mustard oil. Which of the above will give blue-black color when tested with iodine? Option A1 and 2. Option B1 and 3. Option C2 and 3. Option D3 and 4. The right answer is option B. 1 and 3. The iodine will turn from red slash yellow color to a blue black color in case of boiled and mashed potato as well as slices of bread due to presence of starch in them. Question number 2. Which of the following pair of teeth differ in structure but are similar in function? Option A canines and incisors. Option B molars and premolars. Option C incisors and molars. Option D premolars and canines. The right answer is option B. Molars and premolars. Molars and premolars are the pair of teeth that differ in structure but are similar in function i.e. tearing and crushing the food. Question number 3. Read carefully the terms given below. Which of the following set is the correct combination of organs that do not carry out any digestive functions? Option A esophagus, large intestine, rectum. Option B buccal cavity, esophagus, rectum. Option C buccal cavity, esophagus, large intestine. Option D small intestine, large intestine, rectum. The right answer is option A. esophagus, large intestine, rectum. The food that is swallowed passes through the esophagus and is pushed down by the contraction of muscles in the wall of the esophagus. The large intestine absorbs water and some salts from the remaining undigested food which then passes to the rectum and remains there as semi-solid feces. Question number 4. The swallowed food moves downwards in the alimentary canal because of Option A force provided by the muscular tongue Option B the flow of water taken with the food Option C gravitational pull Option D the contraction of muscles in the wall of food pipe the right answer is option D. The contraction of muscles in the wall of food pipe. The food that is swallowed passes through the esophagus and is pushed down by the contraction of muscles in the wall of the esophagus. Question number 5. The acid present in the stomach. Option A kills the harmful bacteria that may enter along with the food. Option B protects the stomach lining from harmful substances. Option C digests starch into simpler sugars. Option D makes the medium alkaline. The right answer is option A. 
kills the harmful bacteria that may enter along with the food. The acid present in the stomach kills most of the bacteria entering along with the food and makes the medium in the stomach acidic and helps the digestive juices to act. Question number 6. The finger-like outgrowths of amoeba helps to ingest food. However, the finger-like outgrowths of human intestine helps to Option A. Digest the fatty food substances. Option B. Make the food soluble. Option C. Absorb the digested food. Option D. Absorb the undigested food. The right answer is option C. Absorb the digested food. The finger-like outgrowths present in the inner walls of the small intestine are called villi that increase the surface area for better absorption of the digested food. Question number 7. Read the following statements with reference to the villi of small intestine. 1. They have very thin walls. 2. They have a network of thin and small blood vessels close to the surface. 3. They have small pores through which food can easily pass. 4. They are finger-like projections. Identify those statements which enable the villi to absorb digested food. Option A1, 2 and 4. Option B2, 3 and 4. Option C3, and 4. Option D1 and 4. The right answer is option A. 1, 2 and 4. There are thousands of finger-like outgrowths in the inner lining of the small intestine called villi having a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. It increases the surface area for absorption of the digested food. The absorbed substances are transported via the blood vessels to different organs of the body. Question number 8. The false feet of amoeba are used for Option A movement only Option B capture of food only Option C capture of food and movement Option D exchange of gases only The right answer is option C capture of food and movement. Amoeba has one, or more finger-like projections, called pseudopodia or false feet that helps in movement and capture of food. Question number 9. The enzymes present in the saliva convert. Option A fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Option B starch into simple sugars. Option C proteins into amino acids. Option D complex sugars into simple sugars. The right answer is option B. Starch into simple sugars. The saliva breaks down the starch into simple sugars. Question number 10. Cut is the name given to the food of ruminants which is. Option A swallowed and undigested. Option B swallowed and partially digested. Option C properly chewed and partially digested. Option D properly chewed and completely digested. The right answer is option B. 
swallowed and partially digested. Ruminants quickly swallow the food and store it in an isolated part of the stomach called rumen where the food gets partially digested and is called cud which later on return to the mouth in the form of small lumps and then chewed up by the animal. This process is called rumination and these animals are called ruminants. Question number 11. Choose the correct order of terms that describes the process of nutrition in ruminants. Option A Swallowing Partial digestion Chewing of cud Complete digestion Option B Chewing of cud Swallowing Partial digestion Complete digestion Option C Chewing of Cud Swallowing Mixing with digestive juices Digestion Option D Swallowing Chewing and Mixing Partial Digestion Complete Digestion The right answer is Option A Swallowing Partial digestion Chewing of cud Complete digestion Ruminants quickly swallow the food and store it in an isolated part of the stomach called rumen where the food gets partially digested and is called cud which later on return to the mouth in the form of small lumps and then chewed up by the animal. This process is called rumination. Question number 12. Cellulose-rich food substances are good source of roughage in human beings because Option A. Human beings do not have cellulose digesting enzymes. Option B. Cellulose gets absorbed in the human blood and converts into fibers. Option C. The cellulose digesting bacteria convert cellulose into fibers. Option D. Cellulose breaks down into smaller components which are ingested as roughage. The right answer is option A. Human beings do not have cellulose digesting enzymes. Human cannot digest cellulose due to the absence of certain bacteria which helps to digest cellulose present in the food. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.